my lorry to defrost. Uh, it's a Monday morning. I've got the night heater on full. Um, I didn't come up yesterday or else I would have put my night heater on. I've got something in my foot. There you go. Um, so to be honest, it's defrosting quite well. Like I'll only be sat here another two minutes. So um, I've set my GoPro up on my mirror. What are we doing today? We are going down Somerset with a load. Um, so yeah, not too, it's well. I'll be all day. Somerset's quite far from here. But it's minus two and it's cold. I want to get going now. Anyway. So my other GoPro died, I've just backed up, so I'm going to go and load up now. So I've just loaded up and I'm just doing my paperwork, uh, what I mean, I'm in BU11, SMT, and I've got the decker on, so it's trailer 2, and Becky Giles, what time did we load up? Time loaded, 6. Alright, because we've got 38 on, he's got two folders, so I have to do it on both. 105 BU11 SMT SMT TR2 B Giles and 6. So I've got 30, yeah, I just said I've got 38 on. Um, so I've done 33556 five, and 3553. Three. Makes 38. Um, so now we're off to Langport, it might take two and a half, what, three hours, say. So let's get going. So some social media influencers get a, a lot of hate. Now, I don't class myself as well known. I don't definitely don't class myself as famous or anything like that. I'm just your normal lorry driver that does a few TikToks, does a few YouTubes. Um, and it takes a lot out of you. Um, I only do it because you guys, I do a completely different job to a lot of people and you guys have asked me to do it. Um, but along with that, it comes a lot of hate. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't listen to anybody with the hate messages or anything like that. Um, just because I class them as jealous. Now, like, for instance, I know the Digger Girl gets hate, I know Trucker Tim gets hate, um, and I know Hi Hat Princess gets hate, but what's the point in wasting your time hating someone when you're just jealous of what they do, what they say, what their lifestyle's like? They've just done really well for themselves over social media. You guys don't need to get jealous about it. Like, for me, for instance, a lot of people know the truth of what's happened in my life. A lot of people know the lies that's happened in my life. Believe what you like. I don't really care. It's in the past. I don't care. But don't go spreading rumours about people um, and saying you hate them and everything like that because actually you don't actually know the truth of what's actually happened. So before you say, oh, I hate that person, or I hate her because, or I hate him because they do this or they do that, why, why do you hate them? They probably have never spoken to you in their entire lives, so why do you hate them? Like, I don't understand people like that. Yes, you have your opinion about people, but that doesn't mean you hate that person 
someone, I'll be civil with them, but I'll never cause a scene because I don't like drawing attention to myself. Now you might say, but you make social media. I make social media because I've been told I inspire a lot of the younger generation and a lot of older generation as well. I don't do it because I want the attention. Why would I do that? Hello, oh, another life's not very common. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying now. Grunty. <laughs> child but for lunch she's got lunchables <laughs> honestly they're so easy to eat while driving so I'm just coming down the lane now leaving two hours two damn hours it took but hey ho we keep on trugging along um, it would probably take me three to three and a half hours to get back depending on what traffic's like mm, so I wonder who I see coming up I've got my fruitellas next to me because I'm feeling a bit peckish I've had my lunchables um, so yeah let's go on home Woo! so I've been sat behind this lorry for what? Um, two three miles there was a quite a big bunch of us <laughs> there was a point where we really wanted to go in that lane but that's naughty and that's illegal so we can't do that but I'm hoping this is the last lorry he's going to overtake and then I can fly on by it but kids don't go in that lane only when it's foot down Friday we go in that lane I'm joking don't actually go in that lane <laughs> so I'm just pulling my card we've done 8 hours 23 minutes driving today 3 hours 40 it took me to get back filled up with diesel um, in the yard um, so yes we are finished ready for tomorrow um, dad was very kindly filled the little lorry up for me as you can see, there it is. Um, I don't know what's happening tomorrow. Um, this trailer, the Decker, is in for MOT on Friday. So it is. Um, it needs to be washed all underneath, which my boyfriend is very kindly doing for me because uh, Dad can't get under. So I don't know if I'm doing half the day in the little lorry and Dad's swapping with me or if I'm doing the full day in the little lorry I don't think he's decided yet so yeah I'm just going to fill in my paperwork um, my movement book and then um, I'm going to go home oh, I've got to take my stuff out the locker of the decker and dry it because that's quite wet 
And I don't really want to put a wet coat on tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So it's Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Just start the lorry up because it's cold. And uh, this is what we're dealing with today. You ready? A frizz bomb because I've had my um, hair in plaits for two days because I didn't want to wash it last night. Because I'm out. Oh no. Because <laughs> uh, I'm out for a night out tomorrow night. So I'll wash it tonight. Um, what we're doing today, we're going, we're in the little lorry, we're in Ovlov, little Ovlov. We're going down towards Oxford, coming back up to Lutterworth and then going towards like rugby to come back to Lutterworth. So fairly easy day, I'm just doing store collections today. Um, I think the first one's got 11, so I'll only put them in two sections. And then the first play, the second place, sorry, has got 15. So yeah, I'll just grab my wellies, leggings and coat, and then we should get going. So I'm just jumping on the A14 um, from the M A M6, A6. Um, I'll get off for the 43 and head towards Northampton because I'm going to Oxford. Hopefully traffic's not too bad, that's why I wanted to load a little bit earlier. Um, <coughs> Dad wanted to load at 9, I said no, I'm loading at 8 because I don't want to be stuck in other traffic at 9 o'clock. There we go, we're on the A14. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we'll get there all okay and on time. If I can remember where I'm going. I did go there before Christmas, so it shouldn't be too bad. So we're on the M40 now, uh, coming towards the 34, hence why we're going a bit slow. I am getting on the 34, but I'm going to be cheeky <laughs> and stay in this lane until the last minute, because or else we're going to be late. Um, it shouldn't be too bad. It's 20 past seven. I've got 40 minutes to get there, so I should make it there on time if we're all good. Um, but yeah, we're doing 50 mile an hour, so it's not too bad. It says Q on slip road, but should be okay. We should be okay. Um, I've had to leave my other GoPro at home um, because some, I don't know what happened to it. Um, it. Wouldn't let me save the videos onto my phone to send them to my chief editor. Um, so chief editor is looking at that today, so I left it at home because he's coming over to wash under the decker because it's for tests on Friday like I said yesterday come on mate um, so yeah we'll um, we'll keep chugging along and we'll see don't break you want to go on the 34 as well don't you mate keep going um, <laughs> I wonder if this works oh god update is very slow on the 34 a solid 10 mile an hour Woo! Um, so my chief editor aka my boyfriend said I'm gonna have to come out my box a little bit because I don't like recording while there's a crowd like I'm okay in my lorry on my own but when I've got people with me I get a bit nervous um, and like obviously in summer I'll be at truck shows and I'm going to Assen this year as well so that'll be a really good vi video footage to get so by that time I'll be out my shell a bit better but it like it took me two years <laughs> to properly get out my shell through TikTok I'm gonna try a bit quicker this time for YouTube but um yeah it's like i, I could have i just i just don't like drawing attention to myself in a public situation um i've always been like that i'm okay like i said talking to a camera and uh, behind a camera but i'm useless at public speaking 
because uh, I don't like crowds. But she's going to have to come over a fear to get better at these YouTubes. So yeah. But I should be there on time if we keep rolling like this and don't stop. Oh well. So I've just got to my mini roundabout in Einsham. I don't know how you say it, but I go down this dead end one. So we spin me right round, baby, right round like a rickety. And then we go down here. Obviously go up the path because I'm definitely not gonna not go up the path with those cars there. Um, not many lorries come down here. It's not a massive farm, but it is quite a big farm, but it doesn't have like loads and loads of cattle. So yeah, these are going to be weighed. Um, so they're being bought price per kilo. So I'll pick them up. Thank you. I'll pick them up um, and then um, we'll go and weigh them. I'll drop them off and I'll re-weigh. And obviously you divide that weight, the net weight by the amount of cattle I'm gonna have on, which is gonna be 11. So I'm not gonna be extremely heavy. Thank you. Um, so yeah, you get a lot of walkers down this lane. It's like the lane that I go down um, for the farm I go at Scraptoff near Leicester. It's like that lane. Um, I am a few minutes late because of the traffic. Uh, we were dawdling at five mile an hour on the A40, which was lovely. <laughs> last time, well, no, no, not the last time I came down here because I filmed it, but the time before that, I, come, I was coming back towards the village. I was loaded and there was a car. Um, thank you. There was a car and she wouldn't get over because apparently I had to get over because it was left to left. Yeah, left to what? Yeah, left to left. But what she didn't understand is that it was wet. It was really wet on the ground. And I was loaded and I didn't want to sink. And where I pulled in, there was a car that pull that was in that little entrance bit where you, where it's like a passing place. What she couldn't understand is that I couldn't fit in behind the car. But she, we, I mean, we must have sat there for about ten minutes because she would not move, and I was like, "That's fine. I'll just sit here. I've got nothing else to do today." And eventually, she got all in a strop. Um, and uh, she, she, she went behind the car that I couldn't physically fit behind. But <laughs> it was quite funny. That was quite amusing, I'm not gonna lie. But hopefully he'll open the gates for me at some point. <laughs> so I just rang the farmer, so he just let me through his electric gate. Uh, he's, he's got my number saved. He was like, I was ready to say, oh, hello, it's uh, Becky from St. Mary's. Can you open the gates for me? And he was like, hi, Becky. I'll um, how are you? I said, oh, I'm good, thanks. Can you open the gates for me, please? He was like, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. I'm like, ah, oh, he's got my number saved. <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm so used to ringing farmers up. I'm like, especially ones that I don't go to very often. I'm like, hi, uh, it's Becky from St. Mary's, blah, 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 blah. It's like a force of habit. And I get put off when they're, they're like, oh, um, hi, Becky. And I'm like, oh, wait, hang on a second. <laughs> But yeah, we're just gonna um, drive up his driveway. I like a long driveway. Um, and then um, we'll back up. My mirrors are really disgusting. The sun's really bright behind me, so I'm gonna have to wipe my mirrors. Um, and then uh, we've obviously, I've only got 11, so I'll do a six and a five. And then we'll go and weigh them. It'll take me two hours to get there, like it took two hours to get here. Oh God. Mm, just wiping my mirrors. Wipe, wipe, wipe it down. Wipe. <laughs> I remember that TikTok. I never did one. Um, but yeah, I can't actually see a thing. So we're just gonna wipe the mirrors, and then um, I'll go to the other side and wipe the other ones because I really can't see anything out this one. <laughs> That's better. Look at that. 
can see in the past and where I'm going back to. Hello me, hello. <laughs> now we can see what we're going to hit in my mirrors. I'll reverse back. Um, it's really easy. I'm only in a big van, what I call them. No. That's, that's quite harsh to rigid drivers. Rigid drivers are quite difficult because they normally have multi-drops. Arctic drivers are a lot easier. Yes, we like it's a bit diff more difficult to get to, into farms for me, for instance. Like, this is bip squeak. I'm like, wee! This is easy! Um, but yeah. I forgot where I'm backing to. But yeah, I'm just back into one, one of those gates there. So I just loaded it up. I did what I said I was going to do. A six and a five. Uh, Angus. Uh, I've got a red one on. Um, a red heifer. A heifer is a girl. Um, so I've got a red heifer on. Uh, they called it nut because it like nuts. But then realised it was a girl. So they called it nutty. N I don't know. I was going to say Nutella. That's quite a cool name. Nutella. It's called... I don't know. It could be on the passport. But, yeah, we just loaded up. The sun is really bright, so I'm going to have to put some sunglasses on. But, yes, we'll go down to the f gate and he'll probably, hopefully ring open the gate for me. He said, see you next month. I'm like, okay! I just get sent to wherever I'm told to get sent to. So, probably see him next month. But, yeah, off to Lutterworth now uh, to weigh, then unload, then weigh again. So, um, I can't come out the same way as I came in, just because I can't turn the right, yeah, right onto the A40. I can only turn left, so I have to go down there. It's really quite tight as well. So, I'm going to take you on the journey with me. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of parked cars along here, so it's like, who's going first kind of thing? And um, the sun's really bright, should be able to just keep going. The road is wide enough, obviously the bus is a fine example that a car and a lorry or bus can get down here. It just can get, okay Mr Taxi Driver, you've got loads of room. Um, can just get quite narrow towards the middle of the town but we're just going to keep going and we'll see your cattle aren't standing still very well because um, I've got obviously these bumps and I'm keep stopping and starting I'm obviously not going to get be able to get past the bus Unless I go at the path. No. I could, but I don't want to put the lorry in the tree. In all honesty. So, and there's a car coming now, so the bus must... It's going to go in a minute. The bus isn't moving! There's a bus coming the other way. There's no point in going because there's a bus coming the other way as well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I've got a long line of cars behind me as well. In hindsight, it's not really my right of way, so I should really let the car come. So that is what I'm doing. Um, and then I'll go through. Thank you. At least I've not got an Arctic, eh? 
Well, this is handy. This is a. Oh my god! Oh, oh near. I like country roads, not towns. Thank you. They're probably thinking, why she got a GoPro on her head? Or why is there a livestock box coming through the middle? Even though, yes, I know this is seven and a half ton, but I had no choice. So you can't, like, the farm is in the seven and a half ton weight limit anyway. So I have no choice to come this way. I'll get through there. Cool, look at this. She's going to get past the bus because she's not being sat behind the bus. Don't move, livestock. Woohoo! She's through. Oh God. How to cause carnage through a village. Thank you. And there we go. We're out of the worst bit. So it all opens up around here. Thank you all. And we get to a roundabout and when we're well away. <laughs> so we're on the M40. We're not too far away from Warwick where I'm coming off. Um, to head towards like Lutterworth Way. Because um, it's going to go in between, well, Coventry and Lutterworth. That's where we're heading towards. Um, and then... <coughs> Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. Traffic's been absolutely awful. Where is everyone going today? I was sat on the A40 for a while coming towards Oxford. I got on the 34 and we were well away there. M40's been quite good. But it's, it's well, it's going to take me two hours to get here. Probably a little bit more because of the traffic. But I've been on the phone to my best mate. Kel, um, she's um, she's been stuck in traffic all morning. She's 45 minutes late to her drop, um, but that's probably because the M69 is shut um, towards the M1. Um, she's at Northampton at the moment. But yeah, just traffic in general has been really bad today. We get paid by the hour, even though I don't really, because I kind of own the business. So we get the perks, but we don't get paid a lot. But oh well, we'll just keep get, trugging along. Hey, look, we overtook something. We don't overtake many things in this. She's a go slow, she is. So I'm on the M69 and um, the reason why it's so dead is because it's actually closed. Um, it's closed towards the M1, but I'm getting off at the A5 and that's where it's closed. Um, so I shouldn't be queuing in hindsight. So I'm hoping we'll be all good. So I've kind of taken a rest here. Um, so I'm just coming towards my way bridge now. Um, some people have asked me, what's it like traveling with livestock on? Well, obviously they move, um, they're animals, they're, they're, they're always moving. Um, in a ridge it's a lot different because I can feel every time they do move, because obviously they're right on the back of me. Round corners a rigid will lean more, um, it's just a fact, it just will lean more rather than an arctic um it's just really common sense um in hindsight like i won't go storming around corners um because they've got to maintain their balance um or like round roundabouts or stuff like that you'll see um if you see me drive, I'll be going a lot slower around a roundabout than probably a loaded lorry would, like a normal loaded lorry. Um, just because it's all down to the animals, they've got to keep their balance, they've got to maintain that balance. Um, 
even on a bumpy road like this <laughs> I'm not going flat out um, but they do have loads of room in there it's not like they're tight um, but yeah I'm just turning up here to my way bridge Ooh. I find in this lorry right I cannot get the temperature correct like if it's on full it's boiling but if you click it once up like colder it's freezing stupid of love and my passports are going everywhere Ooh, steady 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 so yeah I like I normally turn around corners like this I won't fly around corners but when I'm empty you can you can send it a bit better but anyway I'm just gonna pull in here um, to weigh these cattle and then go and drop them off and then come back and weigh and then go and get the next set so I'm sitting on the way bridge and there's a doggy over there by the core and I've just seen my GoPro is only on 19% I need to change the battery in that but I want someone to come and weigh me <laughs> so I'm just pulling in my farm I can't actually when I come here in an arctic I have to go and turn round uh, because I can't get an arctic in this way um, I can get the ridges in it's an easy peasy here um, but an arctic won't swing it round um, so yeah I'm just going to ring the gate no parcels for me to collect for him today um, I'm just going to ring the gate and then we'll go down so obviously I just ran the gate because it's opening. Um, some sheep's in there now. Electric fencing's all up. So we're gonna drive down it. I don't like that electric gate, really don't. Um, yeah, look, sheeps. Hi, sheeps. Um, so yeah, we're gonna drive down his driveway. Quite simple. I'm not backing up to much. I'm just backing in towards the sheds. Um, and then they just run off um, hand him his paperwork I've got something for him that um, the guy that I weighed at gave me so that's in my side locker um, where the sawdust rack is so I'll grab that when I load them um, so yeah nice and easy peasy and then we'll go back and weigh and we'll see how much they weigh individually on an average. So I've just tipped them. Um, he was telling me where I'll put the next ones because he's not going to be there. So I just unload myself. That's good. That's a good idea. I'm going to do an unloading video on my head. Oh yes, I can do one. <laughs> so yeah, we'll do that. Um, so now I'm going back to the electric gate to ring it to then go back to the weigh bridge and then weigh. Send the weights to the farmer that I picked up and the farmer I've just dropped off and then ring the next farm that I'm going to and go and pick up those ones <laughs> so we've just weighed I worked it out for the 11 beasts they weighed 450 each which isn't too bad now I'm on the way to my next farm which is only half an hour down the road um, along the foss um, and then I'm bringing them back to the farm that I've just dropped off they're not being weighed they're being bought per headage so per animal um, so that makes life a lot easier and then we'll go home and wash out right so I've made it I think to my farm it's a bit tree -y. I hope this is the right <laughs> I'm not going down that track. I'll just keep going straight. Oh my God. Hmm. Right, so he's told me to, to, to drive down, oh, drive down here, but try and miss his trailer. Oh my God. I'm not gonna make that turn. not hit his things over there oh my god <laughs> I don't have a front mirror so I can't see right done that bit 
and then just back straight. Oh. Honestly, this is so... How am I meant to get through that bit? What the? That's like the width of my lorry. Oh, I'm in the tree. Ah. Uh. Tell Alwyn. No more cattle from this farm. Uh, I'm so. Uh, yeah. We've met. All, we, we're just making it through. I ain't got a clue how I'm going to get out. I'm just guessing. I'm going straight back. I don't really know. I can't really turn because there's a skip on one side. And, and a load of whatever on the other side. <laughs> well, I'm having to move forward again because I can't get on the gate where he wants me to. So with that pump there. So I'm having to move forward for him to move it for me. I've got a container on that side. And yeah, it is, oh my God. Good job I'm not in an Arctic, eh? I don't know how can get out, yeah. Oh, well, that took some loading. We had a couple of escapees. Now I'm gonna try and get it out. I said, if you hear any bangs, it's not my fault. Uh, oh, look at that. Mind is steel work there. Ah, she did it. Anyway, they're on. I've actually got one extra. They don't know, I don't know where it's come from, but luckily they know the farmer that I'm taking them to. So, um, they said we'll sort it out with him. I'm like, okay. So I've got 15 passports and 16 beast on. But we're only going half an hour, or not even half an hour, like 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, it's a bit warm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, lovely day. I love a nice sunny day like this. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go down his go down his driveway, find all the trees, um, and yeah, get back on the foss and head back up towards Letterworth. So I've just got to my farm, and he's um, allowing me to. He's he's gone out. So we are unloading ourselves. So I'm going to put you on my head. Let's go. So, right, what we do first is uh, we're going to put our wellies and leggings on. I've got to count them off. I'm pretty sure I've got 16 on. And I'm meant to have 15. But I've got to count them off. They're going in the same pen as what I've just unloaded an hour ago. Up here. Oh, he's kept the radio on for them. So this is what I just dropped off. Hello. Oh God. Does this come this way? No, we go that way. Excuses. Oh. Don't come out. So, <laughs> let's unload. Come on. 
Mum, you're bloody awkward to load. them. Um, just doing the gates up and then um, uh, he'll pull out. I just need to shut the gates for him. Like I said, he's not here. I'll go home and wash out. Right, so I just had mum on the phone for 45 minutes. So I have tipped, obviously, and I'm just pulling back into the yard um, in a minute um, to wash out. Um, we. So, yeah, um, my boyfriend's there washing the decker. So, I wonder how far he's got. Alright, so I'm just pulling in the yard. He's still on the wash, I can't wash out. I need to wash out. A bit peckish though, I might go and get some food. Hmm, <laughs> dad's not back yet. Dear. Are we still washing underneath? Must be big jobs only. Right, let's go and pester him. Damn it! Oh. You can't see me. Hang on. We'll do it this way. Right, I just finished washing out and I'm gonna back. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna pack it up. That's what we're going to do. Um, no, we haven't got a dish card in. But look, I've washed that on the outside, that looks quite shiny now. Um, I didn't wash this on the outside, just, that's, just sprayed it. I need to put the mid lift up because we didn't do that. Um, I also need to put the airline in because I didn't do that. But I don't know how I'm going to do that because I can never, oh my goodness, I can, I can never do it. I'm too, yeah, okay, I can't say that. I, I just can't do it. I feel like I can't fit. But, and apparently I'm too short to do it from the floor. I feel that's a bit rude. But anyway, I'm gonna park it up and I'm gonna go and do it. So I've done everything. The airline back in my decker on the, my lorry. Put my mid lift up because I forgot to do that. Um, and I've just got my car keys. Time to go home. I've already got all my stuff in the lorry for tomorrow, food wise, because I'm having a night out. I'm down in Salisbury Market. So yeah, I'm gonna go home and really need that shower. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day.